Quite the turnout this year. Hey man. What's so, up? Happy 420. Yeah, happy 420. Spark a joint. Spark a joint. Holy fuck. What? Up in 420. Woo! Quite the fucking turnout, man. Holy shit. I was not it's a the fucking the power of Facebook. Huh? <laughs> it's the power of <laughs> There are so many hot girls here. <laughs> Woo! Last year, the year, a bill on the subject of showing the majority of Canadians want marijuana legalized. That should be the only reason we need. And for the last 10 years, we've been putting this on this one. Hundreds of people are in the in Saskatoon. In larger cities, they get thousands of people. In Vancouver and Toronto, they get tens of thousands of people. And from those rallies, there's been letters written. There's been one interview after another. There has been petition after petition sent to that federal government in Ottawa. And what response do we get to the just demands of the people? Nothing! More police and no answer but police. And mandatory minimum sentences and billions of dollars worth of new prisons at a time when they're cutting funds to social programs. And even under the Liberal Party, they used to use the excuse that they couldn't legalize because of the International Convention on Narcotics. Now that they know what the UN's no, Convention funny. on Narcotics is, all it takes it's supposed to only have the same validity as saying the single convention on torture or the single convention on the treatment of prisoners of war, and yet we see. <coughs> The conventions on the single tri on the treatment of prisoners of war being totally ignored. So, at some point, there is no excuse. And since there's an election on, pretty much the only thing that can be done about it is to vote for pro-legalization parties. Yeah. And those are the, <coughs> those are the Green Party and the NDP and the United candidates for both of those. So the first candidate to speak will be Green Party candidate Greg Chatterson. Yeah! yeah! Woo! Woo! Uh, the ladies and gentlemen, are normal. Oh, yeah. Pass it on to someone who will. This, this city, this province, and around the world. And as, you, as you guys know, most types of hemp have so little THC that you can smoke a whole field of it without getting stoned. So criminalizing the hemp plants uh, was a considerable relief and profit to the four major industries that cannabis competes against. The clothing, medical, forestry, and oil industries. It eliminates a huge economically viable competitor that these guys couldn't control. Canada has, uh, cannabis has great diversity in the variety of crops that it produces. You want to do me a favor? It's a farmer's dream in many ways. This crop is highly competitive plant. It can grow in adverse conditions in uh, otherwise uh, unproductive lands. I don't see any NDP candidates here, so okay. Well, vote green then. Uh, so I guess the next speaker is from Head to Head Novelty is my number one sponsor, Tim Selensky. Yeah! Hey guys, just why I'm not gonna bore you with politics, that's for damn sure. Today is a day of celebration, it's 420. Uh, you guys do make sure you vote though, because things gotta change around here. I know it takes a little bit out of your day to do it, but do it. Yeah! You know, and this man said a lot of good things about marijuana and some of the bad effects, but 
as far as I know, nobody's died from marijuana, but plenty of people have died from the prohibition of it. So, make sure you go out there and vote and make a difference this year. You guys, this, this year is Saskatchewan's first cannabis cup in Saskatoon. I suggest you find out about it because it's pretty interesting. You missed out. You guys have a great day. That's all right. Yeah! Yeah! Can everybody kindly pick up a couple of pieces I heard of garbage that's on their way out so nice. that it'll be a lot easier to clean up after this?